everybody, welcome back. You know, one of the best things about doing the show is getting to talk to all sorts of fascinating people, but it's hard to fully explore a guest's psyche in just 10 minutes over Zoom, which is why we here at The Late Show created something called the Colbert Questionnaire. It's a series of 15 questions scientifically calibrated to reveal a person's truest self. Everything from your primal fears to your favorite sandwich to the sandwich you're most afraid of. And I recently had the pleasure of administrating the questionnaire to Hollywood legend Billy Crystal. Forget when Harry met Sally. This is when Harry met Billy. Billy Crystal, lovely to have you here. Always a joy, as I've said before, like a vacation to talk to you. But one of the problems with these uh, jobs is that you get to meet a lot of people, but it's hard to plumb the depths, plunge into soul, reveal the soul of the person you're talking to, but I have come up with a foolproof questionnaire that I've been kept. These questions have been kept in a mayonnaise jar, hermetically Hermetic sealed in a mayonnaise sealed. jar, <laughs> on whose porch? Funkin' Wagnall's pun Funkin porch. Wagnall. Since noon today, I'm gonna ask you these 15 questions, sir, and we will find out who you are. First question, Billy Crystal, what is the best sandwich? Peanut butter and jelly, white bread. Okay, simple, classy, I like it. What's the one thing that you own that you really should throw out? Hmm. Uh, oh, my, my, I guess my, my bell bottoms. Do you actually have bell bottoms? Do you literally yeah, have well, bell I, I, I keep a lot of stuff. What's the scariest animal? Uh, the spitting cobra. Because it's rude? No, because it, it's it's weird. We you know it, they, it stands up and it spits, and if it gets in your eyes, you're blind, and then it then it you know then it kills. But yeah, it's any kind of snake. We had a rattlesnake here um, not long ago in the front yard, and that was really terrifying. So yeah, spitting cobra. Apples or oranges? Oh, apples. Of course, you can put peanut butter on a slice of apple. Yeah, but I, yeah. Have I, you ever I, asked I, someone for their autograph? Oh, I, I still do. Really? I still do. Who's the yeah. last person you asked? Do you, do you have a, one that comes to mind, even if it's not the exact last? Uh, not the dead last. This was interesting. I was at a, a, um, a Cleveland Indians, New York Yankees playoff game, and I sat next to a man named Larry Doby. Larry Doby was um, the first African-American to play in the American League when J Jackie Robinson broke the barrier with the Dodgers, of course. Larry Doby was basically Buzz Aldrin and was the second, uh, and he played in, with the Cleveland Indians, and I happened to sit next to him. He's a very distinguished man, and I asked him to sign a ball, and he did. It was, a, it's, you know, it's very lovely. Well, that's interesting. You are the third. Uh, both Hanks and Clooney both said baseball players. Isn't that interesting? I've I've got so many autographs here. I, I would it would drive you crazy with what I have. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it's a, it's a big passion of mine. So yes. What do you think happens when we die? We go into syndication. Favorite action movie? Raiders of the Lost Ark. I'm going to go with you on that one because there's nothing like melting Nazis. <laughs> do you have a favorite do you have a favorite smell? Yes. Um, my newborn babies. Ooh. Do you have a lot of those? <laughs> because they don't that smell no, doesn't last. Baby, smell doesn't last very the, long. You got to you got to keep you got to keep we got to get yeah, fresh no, ones no, all the no. time. Yeah, no, no, no. When they were little there's nothing like the baby smell. Top of the head. Top of yeah. the head. Least favorite smell. My newborn babies. Got it. The, the other <laughs> end. <laughs> Exercise, is it worth it? Oh, for sure. Okay. Absolutely. Every single person I've asked this question has lied. Okay. <laughs> Flat or sparkling? Sparkling. Let's have a party. Most used app on your phone? Um, there's two, well, all right. Uh, calm. Oh, that's nice. That's calm. What do you, what do you, what do you have a favorite? Like, it plays sounds, right? Does it play sound, sound? Yeah, there, there are, you know, there are sayings, there's music, there's, especially, and I just started this with this, you know, during this horrible time, but just like, 
Ooh, what is this? And I just put it on for a little bit. You get to listen to one song for the rest of your life. What is it? Well, we were just married. We just had our 50th wedding anniversary. Okay? Mazel tov. Thank you. And the song we danced to is one of our favorite songs. It's not our favorite song. Now. It's a song called That's All, which was recorded by Nat King Cole. All right. Well, I can only be... give you love that lasts forever and the promise to be near each time you call and a love whose burning light can warm a winter's night. That's all. That's all. It's a great song. What number am I thinking of? I can only give you country walks in springtime and a hand to hold when leaves begin to fall. All right, good. Um, what, yes, number, what, was it? What, what number am I thinking of? Seven? No. Describe <sighs> the rest of your life in five words. Sex, 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 laughs, sex. Congratulations, Billy. You are How do I known. Do? <laughs> you are finally, you are finally known. Billy Crystal, everybody. Thank you, sir. Great to be with you again. Nice to see you, too. Thanks again to Billy Crystal. We'll be right back with Emmy Award-winning actor Aaron Paul.